Hi everyone, this is Achal Soni. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss how to show and hide a filter based on a specific value of a primary filter. Which means, just see, I have two filters over here, region and subpart. Region is my primary filter and subpart is my secondary filter. Uh, on the uh, selection or deselection of a specific value from my primary filter, uh, which is central, if I deselect central, then the secondary filter is no more visible. When I switch back to central, the secondary filter uh, comes back to my dashboard. The rest of the values from the region filter do not affect the secondary filter. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I have already discussed that how you can show and hide a parameter. Uh, that was also a, a very crucial and important functionality. And related to filters, this one is also very important and the solution is rarely available anywhere. So uh, let's get started. Uh, the first step is to create your chart. So I'll create a simple chart using sales and subcategory. Now uh, I want to implement two filters, region and subpart. So show filter for region and subpart show filter. All right, very simple till, till here. Now uh, we'll create a, a pop-up sheet. So here I'm creating empty placeholder. All right, and we'll format the sheet because we need a blank sheet. So let's remove the grid lines, zero lines, axis rulers. Okay, and let's hide the header. All right. And let's remove the tooltip as well. Okay, I'm just reducing the opacity so that this mark is not visible. All right, and now what we need to do is uh, we need to implement the primary filter on our pop up sheet. So, primary filter is region. Let's bring in over here sheet 4. Okay. All right, and now we'll create a calculation which will enable uh, the visibility of this sheet. So calc pop-up sheet. If region equals central. So uh, we want to implement this functionality only on a specific value of region. Uh, it is central right now. You want uh, you can make changes to this custom calculation then false and very simple let's click ok and bring this over here in filters and select false from here click ok let's design the dashboard now I'll just reduce the uh, width and height of the dashboard Now let's bring in sheet 3 in floating manner. Alright, so similar to what we did uh, to show and hide the parameter, uh, the same thing we are going to implement over here. Just you need to remember a limitation to this is your primary filter should stay in right and secondary filter towards its left. So I'll bring in a horizontal container and I'll put in region. Let's uh, keep this to multiple values drop down. Okay, all right, and select container, 
let's bring this over here and with subpart multiple values drop down and we'll keep this in another container okay all right and now we would want to keep the pop-up sheet in the container where the subpart lies but you have to make sure that the pop-up sheet is towards the left of subpart so sheet four here hide the title let's see if this is in the horizontal container yes now we would bring this horizontal container within the container where region is placed so just drop when you see this gray mark okay and just check whether this is contained within horizontal yes just adjust the width okay now let's test this yes this is shifting towards the left which means your pop-up sheet is collapsing when you select central the pop-up sheet sheet has expanded all right uh, for this sheet if you are seeing this mark and you don't want it uh, then you what you can do is you can use a transparent shape so I'm not going to explain that right now you can refer my uh, video on uh, transparent shape I'll give the link in description uh, now what we need to do is we need to adjust the width a little bit so that uh, you have enough room to hide this filter so let's bring in a blank one all right also uh, just ensure if you can see let me bring in central if you can see uh, there uh, there is a difference in the position where the region filter and subpart lies can you see this alignment so let's try to remove this by going to layout and remove the outer padding you can see both are aligned now and now let's bring in this blank sheet over here so that you can hide the secondary filter and change the layout wherein the background should be white okay now let's deselect central all right it's working see So uh, this is how you can uh, show and hide your filter 